and utility crews have been busy working around the clock. They continue to restore power today. More than 200,000 customers lost electricity at the height of that storm. Right now, there are about 7,000 without power, most of those folks being in Albany and Rensselaer County. National Grid says that most customers would have had their power back by 11 o'clock tonight. Those who are still in the dark might be wondering uh, what it takes to get the lights back on. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno giving us a close up look at the restoration efforts. National grid crews have been working around the clock to restore power in communities across the capital region. Right now, we're in Delmar, where crews are working on what they call a back lot, where the lines run behind a home. Mike Mullen was working in his garage when the power went out. Started looking out the window to the back of the yard and we saw one of the poles were down. He was one of thousands of National Grid customers impacted by the combination of heavy snow and ice in this weekend's early spring storm. It just put so much weight on, uh, on the equipment and on the trees that it just, just gave way. National Grid Communications Manager Patrick Stella explained why many people woke up in the dark again today, despite close to 3,000 crew members deployed to the problem areas. It's scenes like this one at the Mullins House on Gladwish Road, where not only can replacing the poles take several hours, but also getting back there adds time. Obviously, we can't just run a bucket up to that to, to that pole, so we have to get equipment in to get back there, or have, sometimes we have to climb the poles uh, to make the, to make the repairs. Delmar is one of the hardest hit areas, and where a lot of the work is being done today. Mullen says it's certainly not the first time he's been without power, and he'll take the annoyance in stride because, well, he loves living here. Well, this beautiful town of Delmar, what you end up with is beautiful trees surrounding it, not. You know, new new construction or something. This is the older part of the Delmar. We are on site with trained crews, and we know that these lines are not live. But you can't always assume that. So never get this close to down wires. If you think they haven't been reported, you should contact National Grid or call 911. I'm reporting in Delmar. Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC. Always an important mm -hmm. reminder. Thanks so much, Juliana. If you